Hello YouTube, today we are making a video about Google Now and the commands that you can use. Uh, most of them are just cool and they're all of them are useful, you can use them to figure out practically anything. And we will go through some of them in this video, so stay tuned. But very quickly in Google Now we have some, some smart cards that we have. You have the sports smart card which shows you scores and play times and who your team is playing. It eventually learns which teams you follow after a while like the Packers or the Brewers. Then it, if you have Gmail, which you have to to get Google Now, it, ha it shows, uh, it looks through your emails, it's creepy right, but it, it found that uh, Amazon emailed me and with a package confirmation and it, I can track my package here of two books that I ordered on Amazon. Right here I click track package or I could just view the email. It shows me the weather where I am and I can, yeah, so. More basic things you can do with Google Now is you can just Google things. Obviously, like let's say I want to just cameras. Cameras. And it will just come up with a Google search result for cameras. But if I wanted pictures of cameras, I would say pictures of cameras. And it would come up with a list of pictures of cameras. So Google image search, basically. Um, you could also general knowledge things such as how old is Barack Obama? And it comes with comes up with a, ta a tile of how old they are. Uh, you could say author of Maximum Ride. And it had a little voice error there, but close enough. You click the correct tab, and here is James Patterson, who is the author of Maximum Ride, which was one of my favorite books as a kid. Um, let's say other general knowledge things, like let's say I'm sitting at a basketball game. I was doing this yesterday, and oh, I wonder what the what the capacity of Lambeau Field. And tells you that Lambeau Field has a capacity of 72,928. You could also say, like, uh, what is the meaning of Earth? And it comes up with the definition of Earth. Synonyms and its use as a verb and a noun. So the next thing you can ask it is you can ask it just like questions about the time and date like what time is it in California and it's 1.04 p.m. in California but here it is 3.04 so it's two hour time difference and then you could ask what day is certain well like when a day is in account here you'll see when is Valentine's Day in 2013 and it's going to be on a Thursday this coming year in 2014. I mean 2013, rather. Um, when does the sun set today? I want to... Okay, caught, caught me before I said today, but it still worked. It's if, it, Today, in my location, it's the sun sets at 427. And if you're traveling, you could say things like time at home or what is the time what is the time zone of a location just ask questions like that moving on you can ask it questions about weather like weather if you say that it will just come up with a weather card which gives you the forecast for the next four days including today um... you could say show me the weather you could ask it questions about the weather like is it going to rain today and if I had the voice the voice turned on, it would tell me, no, it doesn't look like it's going to rain today because it's sunny. <clears throat> or you could also do a variation of that question, such as, do I need an umbrella? And you can also check the, lo the weather in other locations, such as, what is the weather in Sydney? And it would come up with that. So next we have the, num the number operations you can ask your phone, like just quick mathematical calculations you want to do on your phone. You could ask it things like 
What is a hundred times a hundred? Ten thousand is your answer right there. And I guess you could read more if you want to on Google.com. <laughs> it always gives you that option. Uh, you could ask it, What is 48% of 562? And then I'll come up with the answer. And it got of, you gotta fix that right there. It got of uh, 562, which I kind of set it weird. So there's your answer. 269. So whenever there's a line that appears below what you say, you can just touch that line and you can make the correction and it also helps it learn your how you speak and I guess your accent because everybody has a different accent, everybody speaks differently. So to click the line underneath it whenever you speak wrong or if it doesn't understand what, you, what you're saying is what it will do. You could ask it, what is the square root of pi? then it comes up with your answer there. So next up is sports, which is pretty self-explanatory. You could say, uh, who won the Packers game? And last, last Sunday, the Packers play the Titans. Here you can see that. And they won 55 to 7, which was pretty amazing. And you can click recap and highlights to view more about that specific game. Uh, you could say Packers scorecard. And, uh, and that's the same thing will pop up. And if you, uh, you can ask it when the next game is. When is the next Packers game? And it will say, oh, look, the next Packers game is today at 3.25 p.m., which is in 15 minutes. And you can buy tickets to it, usually, but it's too close to buy tickets right now. So if it was like a week out, you could buy click, a, op, click an option to buy tickets. Now, with the new version of Google Now, you can get movie times also on what, what you can ask at movie times, rather. So I could say... What are the movie times for the Marcus Ridge Cinema? And it's it's not in card form. It it does show itself up by like a smart card. If it thinks you're gonna go watch a movie, it'll show up in a smart card. But you can also ask it, and it'll take you to the Google page, which has this exact same thing right there. I thought it was gonna be a card, but whatever. <laughs> That's besides the point. Um, you can just do general web navigation, like go to apple.com or stuff like that. Um, you could ask it, what movies was Morgan Freeman in? And not India, so you can once again correct that and search. Well, that's a poor search. Hmm. Well, you could ask it... Oh, okay, I, I phrased it wrong. It's one of the things that, that they're still working on is phrasing. you got to phrase it a certain way. you got to say, Morgan Freeman Movies. And now it will show you, what the heck? That's even the way it wanted you to phrase it, too. That didn't work. Oh, well. Well, then you can just Google it. That's one of the things that, that works out really well about Google is if it can't find an answer to show you a smart card, it will just flat out Google it, and Google knows the answers to everything, so that's always useful. You could say, when was the movie Titanic released? And it will show you Titanic was released on December 19th, 1997. Classic right there. You could say, in theory, when was the first episode of Modern Family? And it, was, and it says the first episode of Modern Family was September 23rd, 2009. Just a whole bunch of statistical things that you can check about movies. And you can also check through their actors and such. You could, you could ask it to to do like notes and reminders like 
Remind me to call mom at 5. At 5 p.m. it will set me an alarm to call mom, but I'm going to cancel it because I don't need to because she'll be with me. You could say something of the exact same type, which is wake me up at 5, wake me up at 6. And it will set the alarm, and it does it automatically unless you click the X right next to it. And then at any time you can just click set the alarm. So next up you can say things in general like call someone. I'm not going to do it because I really don't want to show personal information. You know what I am actually. I'm going to say I'm going to call home because it doesn't have any personal things. Call home. And it will say call home and you can call it. I don't want to call home. But it has my phone number right there so I really don't want to show that. So next you can say, uh, you can have it show contact cards or anything like that. So you can like, sh like, uh, you can, oh, oh one of the, the really useful things is you can have it send a message to someone like, send Mike, no, 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 you don't say it like that. Phrasing is important once again text Mike how are you doing question mark and it will send him how are you doing with a question mark at the end and that's one thing that's really important to remember like I've said this a million times phrase it right you just you can just Google Google now phrasing and you can see how you're supposed to phrase everything it also has a help screen that's one of the smart cards when you get into the app is, is a help and I'll show you the phrase the correct phrasing for everything you can also ask it just miscellaneous questions like when did Columbus sail the ocean blue and it will say 1492 and then if you don't believe it you can see that the sources according to patch yahoo amazon and teaching heart so i would say that's a pretty reputable answer and of course it is right <clears throat> you could once again, oh, I've already went through those. See, I just have a big packet in my hand and I'm going through all the commands. Uh, you could, Oh, you could say logo of Google. Well, I said that weird. Logo of Google. That's what I meant. And it should pop up. Or It's not working. Well, once again, image searches, Google knows everything. You could image search or photo search, it's the same thing. That's slightly flexible in the way that you Google it. If, if it doesn't know what you're doing, it'll just Google it. So, you could say, has Delta 404 departed? That's unfortunate too. That's supposed to work. Maybe Delta 404 doesn't exist, so I probably shouldn't be doing that. Um, so, but but in general, you can do you can just search for flights, and it will come up with a smart card. And if 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 you got a flight confirmation to your Gmail, like let's say you're flying United Flight 804. It will show you, hey, look, United Flight 804 is departing. You should probably get to the airport. And that's how smart cards work. It, it reads your Gmail box, literally, which is creepy, but that's how it works. And there's also some, some more interesting things, like Easter eggs, they call them, that are in Google now, like do a barrel roll, and it will spin around. <clears throat> Uh, you could have it. You could also have Google now do things to your phone, like turn airplane mode on, and it will turn airplane mode on. And so those are just some of the the features of Google now that make your life a heck of a lot easier. You can search with your camera. Apparently, <laughs> um, you can go through the settings to change like when cards appear. You can help. You can go to help. It's inserted a little icon in the corner. Help is obviously tells you the stuff you need to know about Google now, such as commands and how you phrase them. That's what I was hinting at earlier. 
and you can send them feedback if you like or do not like it. And that is a general review of Google Now. And we'll go back into the smart cards. And, oh, and one thing that didn't pop up earlier is it says 20 minutes to home, which is complete BS because it doesn't know where I am. It thinks I'm in Waukesha, the town of Waukesha right now, and I'm away from that. So, make sure you, you <laughs> update your GPS frequently, I guess. And you can just click navigate and it'll navigate you home. That's besides the point, though. And there you go.